Okay, CO2 and yield myths. So there's a lot of kind of mystery sometimes around CO2 and there's a lot of myths and kind of rumors about um, people who are looking at supplementing with that and some of the benefits that are claimed and made about regarding carbon dioxide enrichment. So first off, yields are not always increased with CO2. So that goes against a lot what you may hear. Oh, add CO2 to get more yield. Well, precision addition of CO2 to a groom can dramatically increase your yields. It is true. However, this assumes that all other factors, such as water, light, and nutrients, are not limiting factors. What that means is if you're not feeding your plants right, uh, and they're kind of nutrient hungry, adding CO2 is not going to help them at all. Also, if your light isn't intense enough, uh, and they're not getting enough light, then that could also, by adding CO2, not help increase yields at all. Some growers who run a minimum amount of light to save money uh, could reduce intensity, could be kind of playing right along the minimum light that they can give a plant, um, or lights are too far away, we'll see poor results due to light being the limiting factor. So that's just one example of adding CO2 and not getting an increase in yield. You have to make sure everything else is maximized, such as your water, your light, and your nutrients, before you consider adding carbon dioxide enrichment. Now, CO2 levels and world food production. So increasing CO2 levels, which we can see here, a graph depicting CO2 levels from 1958 to 2009, measured out in Hawaii, and you can see a general trend here, vastly increasing. Uh, so increasing CO2 levels in the atmospheric atmosphere will increase world food production. It's often something that's stated because, hey, it's like, look, if I add more carbon dioxide, I'll be getting bigger plants. Well, that only holds true if the limiting factor is actually the carbon dioxide levels and not the water or nutrients those plants are growing under. You can see here with a tree uh, giving an ambient, which is about 400 parts per million, and then increasing that by 150 and over 300 and over 450 from the ambient, so this would be about 850, we can see that there can be an increasing yield. But again, that means that, or that assumes that water and nutrients are not limiting factors. So that could impact world food production in the sense that water is often limiting in many areas and also nutrients in the soil. So it doesn't necessarily mean increasing CO2 levels will automatically lead to an increase in world food production. Common myths about CO2 related to cannabis? Well, CO2 does not increase the percentage of cannabinoids, THC or CBD, in the plant. It can increase the volume of cannabinoids uh, produced, but doesn't increase the percentage. So if the plant's going to produce, you know, 12% uh, CBD and you add CO2, it's not going to automatically then produce 20%. Um, it is going to increase the volume simply because you'll have more plant material there. CO2 results in that more plant material, which can result in more total or more volume of cannabinoids, but it will not change the percentage of a plant. So it won't make a plant more potent, essentially. It's another myth there of CO2. So CO2 can provide some great things regarding plants, but it is not the one cure-all, fix-all. 